Rockwell Automation's remote access solution is managed in Factory Talk Hub and works with varying hardware options. In this video, we are going to focus on Remote Access Manager and how to set up a device that is ready for a remote connection. To access Remote Access Manager, simply sign into FTHub.com. This is where all cloud or SaaS packages reside. Since Software as a Service or SaaS products are licensed differently, there is also a new license or entitlement manager built into this page. Also, to maintain proper security for FTHub users, some software will require two-factor authentication. So once you've logged in, you will need to verify that you are under the proper organization. With cloud offerings providing collaboration and sharing, there is a full architecture that can be created within the hub to organize and share information. Once you are logged into an organization where you have admin rights, select the menu button in the top left corner. When the menu opens, select View Entitlements. On the Entitlements page, there are two data grids, the first being Entitlements Available that have not yet been allocated, and the second is Entitlements Allocated to the organization you selected on the previous window. Remote access is licensed through a yearly subscription that is based on a number of concurrent connections that will need to be established from the cloud to a device. These connections are set at one, 2, 5, 10, 25, 50, and unlimited. An example of a two connection license is if you have two engineers who are remotely connecting into a single system for remote support. But it would be equivalent if you had two engineers remotely connecting to two separate systems at the same time. Once you have your subscription base entitlement, navigate back to Factory Talk Hub home screen using the menu in the top left corner of the page. Now you'll be able to select the icon labeled Factory Talk Remote Access. If you see a lock symbol in the top right corner of the icon, then something is wrong with your entitlement. Once you are into the Remote Access Manager, it will default to the domain view. This is where you can see the devices, user accounts, and groups associated to the organization you were viewing when you selected the remote access icon from Factory Talk Hub. By default, whoever creates the organization will automatically have full admin rights. Additional views are device view and map view, which can be selected under the Explorer drop-down menu. Other options in the drop-down are audit, settings, and tools. Audit allows you to view operations of who has access to the organization as well as any active connections. Within settings, you can see configuration options for your organization domain. Some people like to log all connection operations for a historical log of what was used and this property can be enabled in the domain options. Back in the domain view, you can hit the drop down for devices, and this is where you will see all devices associated to your organization and is the preferred location to add devices when they are ready. Next to the organization name, you can see a plus symbol. Hit that and select add device. There are two methods and it varies on which method to use based on the hardware you are looking to connect to the remote access organization. Remote is used for optics panels and local is used for Stratix 4300 remote access switches. Once a device is added, you can select the device under the device's dropdown. This will provide you with two connection options which are interactive access or VPN. It will also show any permissions, firewall, or routing rules that have been configured for that device. Interactive access will launch a web session to connect to that equipment, but will not allow you to pass through that device for access to next level equipment, such as a PLC. If you are trying to access equipment beyond the origination device, then you will have to select VPN, which will add that remote network to your PC. 
the tool is evolving and provides a centralized location to maintain all remote access hardware. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to your local ESE account manager or automation specialist.